right, how do you guys, how are we doing today? I was not going to go on today, but as you can tell by the thumbnail, I'm sure you saw it already. We had to do boxy charm. We had to. We got like, what, two days left? Like two? I made it just in time. I almost didn't make it. You know why? Because a few days ago was my birthday. Y'all remember that? Y'all remember? Y'all forgot, didn't you? I'm sure you did. But my birthday was Saturday. And you know what I got for Saturday? This right here. Yep. Didn't want to go on today because you can't hold things when you tear a ligament in your hand. How did this happen? You don't want to know. It's violent. I don't want to go there. Not on my channel. Hi, Jocelyn. How are you? So glad you made it. Did you get to see what happened right here? Did you get to see it? This is like a weapon. So I tell my kids, watch out. Don't make me mad. This will hurt. You'll be hurting for days. But yeah, so what happened was I wanted to um, have fun on my birthday, right? So what do you do when you want to have fun? You do things you haven't done in like 10 years, like play basketball, play volleyball, and just challenge everybody and their mother. You know, well, I'm the mother, but I challenge myself too, okay? And I wanted to relive my glory days. Don't do it, you guys. Don't do it when you're not prepared. Stretch a little bit, okay? Stretch, maybe take some more vitamins, maybe. Wait till your bones can handle your weight, maybe. I don't know what exactly happened. But I was playing volleyball, and I was kicking ass, doing great, winning, having fun. Life was good. It was my birthday, okay? It was great until I fell down. Yeah, and I didn't just fall like a regular, oh, I fell in the sand. I can't do that. I can't fall normal. I've got to fall to where I'm going to destroy my bones. So yeah, I fell with my hand like this. This is not a good way to fall. So if you fall like this, okay, you break stuff. So don't fall like that. Just fall normal. Like I'd rather have hit my face, okay, than to be going through this right now. I would have rather just hit my face in the sand, get a little bit of a sand burn. Okay, I'm ranting. I know I'm ranting. Calm down. Relax. It's over with. But still, who wants to have this? So I can't move my thumb. Can't move my forefinger. I can't grab anything, right? And then it's, I've been waiting since Saturday for it to like stop hurting and stop swelling and start to go back to normal. And it just wouldn't. So today I couldn't tolerate it anymore. And I had to give in and go to the hospital. And this is what they did to me. This is what they did to me over there. Four hours. Am I happy about it? No, I'm not happy about it because now it's worse. Now I can't feel any of my fingers. I went from having pain and uncomfortableness and pain to now I can't feel these fingers. These fingers were fine, you guys. They were fine. Now, I don't even know they're there because this doggone thing is so tight. Anyhow, moving on past that, yes, Jocelyn, I do still work. I still worked all those days. I worked Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and today, but I couldn't tolerate it. And you know what, you know what the, the tip of the iceberg was, you guys, before I get into the box real quick? Pulling my pants up. It's a simple thing. It's simple. You do it, everyone does it every day, multiple times a day. So I go to pull my pants up, I forget that my doggone thumb is almost dislocated and I just grab my pants and the pain, you guys, just shot up the arm almost to the neck, like right there, you know? I said, okay, you know what, I give. I give in, let's take my happy ass to the dime hospital to get one of these. Anyway, moving on, we're okay. We're gonna do BoxyCharm anyway, but don't laugh at me if I can't just whatever. Don't laugh at me. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. So the kitty kitty is in here. She's in here. She was quiet. She didn't say anything for like a good 20 minutes. My daughter wanted to get her out. I said, no, don't worry about it. She'll be fine. And now she's attacking everything. Do you hear her back there? Do you hear the jingle jingle? She's attacking everything. Why are you doing this to me? I love you. Anyway, that's a treatment that I get in my house. Hi, Nelly. How are you? So we're going to um, very carefully pick up this box, okay? This is our boxy premium. Hello, guy. Yeah, of course, it'd be heavy. Heavy AF when I can't lift anything, right? Right. There we are. Okay. So the cool thing about this boxy, and I couldn't miss it, you guys. I seriously didn't want to film. I just didn't. Not with this guy, okay? But I couldn't miss it because it's the Anastasia takeover, right? I, I'm, this is going to drive me nuts. It's going to just stay out, of the, stay out of the picture. The Anastasia takeover. And that's pretty cool because it's Norvina, right? So it's like, she's pretty neat. Do I have a lot of stuff by her? No, I don't. I want to call her Anastasia sometimes. You know, like that cartoon, Anastasia. Y'all remember that? Are y'all old enough to remember that? 
Probably not. What are live, live, live uh, glory days online? I don't know, but I just do. But let me just kind of try. Let me let me prop it up here. Okay, just feel bad for me. Okay, just feel bad for me. Let me try to show you guys what the inside looks like over here. Ta da! And it's purple. I love me some purple. I really do. I tried the little purple liner right here with a blue shirt. Blue shirt, purple liner, and some uh, some orangeness going on here. Does it match? No. Why would I match? But this is the box right here. We're going to get into it real quick, real fast. And maybe I'll throw some shadow on my lids. Maybe not. Who knows? Because sometimes you need two hands, okay? And I don't have it right now. You'd be surprised how much you need a thumb. That's all I'm going to say. But let's find a place to put this box. It's probably on my lap the whole time. And we're going to pull out the first thing, which is the most important that we like to make sure that we have in the box, is the card. Okay, it's a pretty card. Look at this. Pretty nice. Yeah. It kind of like, kind of calmed me down a little bit. I was going to get into a rage. I was seeing red. But look, this is kind of cool. I like the butterflies. I love butterflies. I really do. And I like the little boxy charm guy right here. And for July, for my birthday month, this is looking pretty fly, right? Pretty fly in July. It's right here. I got jokes. So over here, you even have a 50% off a buy one, get one something. And don't tell me it's for, oh, it's for Anastasia. So if you go on her website, you can get 50% off. Um, I don't say don't tell me it's for the Bucket Charm store because I already done did that, okay? This variation number is going to be the C210. Do, we, do I do this, you guys? Do I bother? I'll, I'll tell you. The C210 7286-PM. Okay, that's what it is right there with the heart on it. Again, I know it's a month and a year and a, and a day and a something and I give up with that. I give up with these variation numbers, okay? I just want I just want the numbers 50 and 26 back. That's all I want. But first thing in the box <laughs> is going to be this guy right here. Right here. And you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. This packaging, I really don't have anything by Anastasia besides um, the liquid lips. That's all I really ever got interested in. Don't ask me why. I don't know. But that's all I really ever got interested in, okay? But... Feeling this, this packaging feels like those suede packages like NARS. Do you guys like NARS? I like NARS. Do y'all like NARS? NARS is pretty good. Um, they have a real nice suede package. That's exactly what this, did I just say that? I did, right? But we're going to we're gonna reinstate it again. Uh, that's what this feels like. And I like that. I like the nice standout lettering right there. It's just a box, but it's still pretty cool. This is going to be a powder bronzer. I've got quite a bit of bronzer. So maybe I should have looked first to see that this was in there. What do you think about the Makeup Geek? Oh, Jocelyn, she's waiting for me to um, do the review on Makeup Geek. Jocelyn, I'm so sorry. I have not ignored you, I promise. It may feel like it, but I have not. The only thing is I haven't used it yet because, I'm going to tell you why. I do love the brush. The brush is like my favorite so far. Um, I don't wear a lot of makeup to work, you guys, and that's just a fact. I just did this little line right here, and when you see me filming, when you see me filming, and I have makeup on, that's that's all I do, is I put the makeup on for me to film. So I'm sorry, Joss, I haven't actually used the uh, shadows yet and tried them out, but she's waiting for that review. And I think I should do it live for you because you've waited long enough. So hopefully within this week, I will do that for you, okay? But I do love the brush, the brush is amazing. Um, Nelly got the brush too. Nelly, let Jocelyn know if you like the brush. But this is really pretty packaging right here. I have never, again, seen one of her um, bronzers, but if you pay attention in there, it's like little holographic kind of holographic. Yeah, I mean, it's really cool. It's really cool. It's cute. I like it. I don't know what color that is, but I guess it's like a little kind of bluish tint in there if you kind of look at it. Try not to get the ring light, but yeah. Can you see that? Can you see it? Mm, should I bother? I give up. But let's try to open it. This is This was not a good idea. I'm good. Thanks, Joss. I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm just, I love makeup, but working, you know, 10, 12, 11 hours, you just, there's no time to actually put it on. You know, I just put it on to film, really. Honestly, that's all I do. But here we are, you guys. Here is the bronzer. This looks like a nice shade bronzer, to be honest with you. And let's just, let's just throw some more bronzer on. Like, why not? Let's just do it right now. I'm going to do it. Hold on. I'm just going to grab this right here because I wasn't planning on putting any more don't hit the don't hit the hand. I almost did. Don't do that. I wasn't planning on putting more on because I've got a lot. But okay, look, you see it already deepened that right there. So yeah, it looked a little bit more cool tone in here, 
but on the face, mm, it comes off more warmer. But it also could be because I have like two other bronzers on right now. Could, could be. That's really darkening that up. It's bonito, huh? Yeah. So it really did darken up. I really don't need to be any darker. I really don't because I'm already pretty dark right now. But it's okay. Let's just throw it on there because why not? That's what we're here for. We're here to throw it all and slap it on the face. But not like violently because this is what happens when you do it violently. Don't do it. Nelly, I already said what happened to my hand. It was a volleyball accident. You got to pay attention, Nell. I did a whole rant and everything. Where were you? It happened on my birthday. Birthday gifts to me. Mm -hmm. But you know, I wanted to beat my son in volleyball and that's what I wanted to do. It was like a goal of mine. But I love my boy. I just, I'm, not, I'm very competitive. That's like the Leo side in me. It's very competitive. I don't mind losing, but do I like to lose? No, I don't. But I don't mind if I do. But I'd rather win. Okay, all right. Got that out of the way. So this bronzer actually looks really good, you guys. Is there any scent to this? It smells like powder. We're, we're good. We're good. Moving on. I actually don't mind. I don't need a scent. But I do like when they kind of have like a vanilla or a sweet scent, you know. Nelly, I wasn't looking at you. Oh, you were helping your dad this late? Your dad is awake? Chihuahua. But a good thing about this bronzer, you guys, is it does have a mirror. We know how I feel about mirrors. We're not going to get into it, but it does have one. Okay. So I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that bronzer. Um, it's a pretty good heavy-duty package right here. Let me go ahead and, like, look at this. Look at how thick this is. Thank you for the sniff. I had to sniff it for you guys. I had to. It's a sniff kind of channel. We're like all inclusive here. Okay. All right. So Miss Anastasia Bronzer comes out to, where are you guy? Here we go with the reading. Here we go. Liquid lip. Mm -mm -mm. Oops. I'm telling you what I got. Okay. There it is. Powder bronzer. The powder bronzer by Anastasia is a finely milled powder that provides a natural looking matte finish with buildable coverage. I would say so. Yeah. It's pretty intense there. Um, this powder bronzer feels weightless on the face and body and body and blends seamlessly to add warmth for a sun-kissed look. Well, I would believe that if I didn't have so much bronzer on already, you know, I kind of, I kind of overdid it. I shouldn't have put bronzer on ahead of time, but I had to. So I did. So, so we got, and that guy is $28. So would I go pay $28 for that? I don't know because I can't tell because it's like, it's got some friends helping it out right now. It's not like by itself on my face. So we have to wait till it's by itself. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. Next guy in the box is going to be this, what are you? Lash Brag. Okay. All right. This is what we got. Nice packaging again. This kind of reminds me of Fenty a little bit because she has that kind of, you know, uh, ombre effect going on with her black into like, I think it's black into white, I think. But it kind of reminds me of that. Anyway, but it's still pretty. It's nice. It's good. We're going to open it up, see what we got. Let's see. Every time I start filming, every time my phone wants to shut off. Every time. Stop it. Stupid phone. But yeah, so this is going to be a mascara. And we're going <laughs> to... My daughter signed my little my little cast here. Isn't that so sweet? It's, it's a cast. It's a hard, soft cast. It's a hard, soft cast. Okay? All right. But isn't that funny? They wanted to sign it. It's hilarious. Hilarious. By the way, I've never broken a bone or injured myself ever in my life. Not once, but I'm going to do it this year on my birthday. I'm going to leave it to me. You guys leave it to me. So this is too tiny. So on the floor, I'll read it from the card, but this is what it looks like right here. Again, you see, it really does remind me of the Fenty quite a bit. And it also reminds me of the Thrive, the way that it has a weight to it. So you guys know, I love that Thrive Cosmetics. Um, it feels really heavy. That one could be like a, like a weapon. This reminds me of that. It's like heavy duty, heavy, heavy duty, heavy, pretty heavy, right? Let's just open it up with one hand, you guys, with one hand. It's okay. I'm using these, these guys that I can't feel. I'm using them. They'll come in handy. Just let's take a look at this wand. So it does pull out pretty good. It pulls out pretty good. It's late. What do you want from me? Uh, so look, it looks like one of the ones that I don't like. I'm not too happy. Let me put this down carefully. I'm not too happy with the... Um, the big fat brushes, okay? When they're really, really fat like that, 
They're not my friends because they like to hit the top of my, my lid. So what I have to do to divert that is hold the lid like that and then go like this because I don't want to hit the lid. And, and my box just fell, you guys. My box just fell. It's going to be dysfunctional. Today's a dysfunctional day. Okay, just letting you know. Husband, you can come hold something if you like. Just saying. Just throwing it out there. Um, but yeah, so these are kind of fat and... I'm not like the happiest with the fattest wands, right? You know, I'm just not. But we're gonna try it out here in a minute. I don't wanna put on just yet. Give me a second. So I do have a box on my lap and I have things in front of me and it's like a big old mountain right here and stuff is gonna go on the floor. Again, what does that one say? That one says, have y'all tried this lash brag before? Anybody, anybody out there? Let me know, tell me in the comments. How does it work? Let's see, the lash brag is, okay, it's a volumizing mascara. All right, okay. Get maximum lash volume and fullness you can't stop bragging about with Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. Awesome. The Jet Black, easy to apply, easy to apply. Let's remember that. Okay, all right, I'll let you know. Uh, formula instantly creates dramatic, full volume defined lashes while especially designing hourglass no, I'm sorry. Let me back that up. The specially designed hourglass shape wand separates, separates coats each lash with without ever weighing them down. Did, did that brush look like it was going to do that to, for, like, in y'all's opinion? Did it look like that? Let's take another look. Does not look to me like it's going to separate anything. Does it look like that to you? Hmm, does it? Hmm, I think they're fibbing. I think that's a lie, but we're going to find out. Okay, all right. This guy costs $25. That's not too bad. I'd pay more, you know, for, I think I think the Huda Beauty one and the Thrive one are like 29 or something like that. And I don't mind paying that because they work really well. They do. So I don't know about you guy, but $25, and eh, it's all right. Next guy in the box is gonna be this right here. It's yelling at me. It's screaming. Look at it. Look at that. It's pretty good. It's pretty big size. This is a shimmer body oil. I'm all about body oils this year. I never was, never. Never, not in my life. But I do fully enjoy the, uh, again, I'm going to bring up Fenty. Can't open nothing. Can't open nothing, you guys. We're getting there. Hold on. I like the Fenty bronzer one. It's not really an oil, but it's like a body bronzer. Um, that has turned out to be really nice. It's really nice. Um, and I also like the, uh, the Huda Beauty one. She has kind of like a body oil also. So now I got an Anastasia one. Yep. On the floor. So this is what it looks like. This looks really pretty. I mean, look at this. It's all like shimmer and gold. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, it's so cute. Let's try it out. Okay, so let's see what it smells like. If we can open it. <laughs> Any of you guys wanna just jump on in here, you can. And you can like hold up the box and everything. I don't mind today, I don't mind. So this is what the, um, the top looks like. It's kind of slender. Turn it this way. Come on, guy, turn this way. There you go, all right. Just a regular little pump on it. Let's see how it sprays. Let's see. Let's not do it in the eyes. Don't do that. Let's see here. Oh, it's a nice good little mist. Let's go ahead and just... Oh, that has a lot of scent to it. But it's a good scent. So Huda does usually put fragrance in lots of her stuff. And some people like it's a hit or miss, you know. Uh, I don't like the strong floral scent. But this is pretty nice. It smells very vanilla-esque. Vanilla-esque. And uh, kind of... Candy-esque. Candy and vanilla together makes this guy. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say and just go with it. So let's just mm, throw some. Mm, okay. Mm, right there. Mm -mm. All right. Yeah. Sound effects. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can we see something? Can we see a little shoulder action? Can we get some shoulder action? I don't know. Oh, I see a little bit of a, yeah, a, little bit of a glow. Maybe if my phone wasn't so high. But we don't have time to try to lower it. We just don't. So all I'm doing is making myself red, and that's not looking so good. But you can see a little bit of that. Yeah, we got a little glow going on there. This one is, is a tattoo, so you can't really see much. I can't, I can't do anything with this. I'm good for nothing. Good for nothing. Take me up back like a horse. All right, so this guy goes for the shimmer body oil is... A luxe lightweight body oil. It is lightweight, I'll tell you that. Uh, that gives skin a shimmering sun-kissed glow. Does it give a sun-kissed glow? I don't, I don't know if it does or not. I guess I have to go outside and see it. 
Uh, I don't know, but we'll find out later. Let's see. Uh, and then it uh, dries down to a weightless matte finish for smudge proof wearability and long lasting color. I was reading the wrong thing, you guys. I was reading the lipstick. It's late and I'm a year older. What do you want from me? Okay, sorry. Let me just go back and reread the right product, okay? All right, back to it. Uh, it says, Sunkless Glow. This rich, luxurious formula leaves skin with a touchable, silky soft feel. Uh, features a delicate coconut, van coconut vanilla scent. Okay, not coconut and candy. Uh, it's coconut vanilla. And has a sparkly glitter effect reflect that illuminates the skin with a golden glow. Shake well. Well, did I shake it well? Mm, I don't know. But it's okay because you can't really... You can't really tell if you, I don't know. Can you tell? Well, there we go. I guess, oh yeah. Oh, she's really shimmering now. Sort of, kind of. Can y'all see that? I give up, you guys, but I'm trying. I'm trying to do like the model thing. It's not working. Who cares? It smells divine. That's all I'm going to tell you. And I, I kind of like it. So that one goes for $38. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if I would, I don't know. The smell is really good. So that's half the battle right there. Smells good. You got me. I like you. But would I go buy you for 38 bucks? I don't think so. I don't think so. But it's nice. I like it. I'm glad I got it. I'm going to use it. I won't buy it again, but I like it. Okay, next item in the box. I already opened you. You're not next. You're not next. Stop hogging the spotlight. This is what I was reading right here. Nelly, you need to get glasses. You're always having a hard time seeing. I know, Nelly. Shush. Don't put me out there like that. People are watching. Jocelyn, you see it working? It, it kind of has a little glow, right? It kind of does. I don't know. I got to bring the phone down next time. I wasn't prepared. When am I ever? Nothing's going to change. Uh, so this one right here is a liquid lipstick. The one that I was reading. I was reading the wrong product. I was reading about this one. Should I reread it? Did y'all get it the first time? Do you really want me to go back and reread it? No, right? I, don't, I shouldn't have to. But look, this is going to be this shade. Oh, that is really intense. I was going to try to put it on. But damn, girl, that's really intense. Do I want to put red on right now? Do I? Mm, I don't think so. But I love you guys. It's called Heathers. So yeah. Have y'all seen that movie, Heathers? You should watch it. It's weird. Let's just take a look here. I do love her formulas. They're a little drying, but I used to have like four or five of them. That's all I could really attest to with her products because I never tried anything else, as I mentioned. But I'm reiterating that. We're going to open this holding it as best as I can and here we go whoa she's really she's she is a dark red one I would like this for date night when do I have a date night very rare but I will wear it for date night but I'm going to try to wipe a little bit off just so you can kind of see the doe foot it's a flatter one as you can see fat and then flat is this uh, the collab with yes it is that's the whole Anastasia takeover she took over the box and we're just going to go with it. So they're pretty nice products so far. They really are. But that's what that looks like. I can't do a normal like swatch time for you. So let's try to do it with the left hand. We're going to try you guys. I'm here for you. Okay. So have you subscribed yet? Because if you haven't, you should look at the links that I go to just to show you products. Hit the button. Subscribe. Thank you. So left handing it right here. We're going to just do a little swipey swipe. Oh yeah. That is a nice deep blood red that's gonna look really good on another day yeah but it's really nice so they're usually creamy but her regular formula was a little drying i'm not sure how this one is but it looks looks really creamy just kind of show you up front like that or should i pull it all the way back do we do like this yeah no no i think i i, I prefer doing that but i like it i will wear it i'll get use out of it but i just don't want to put it on right now you guys i'm not gonna look good I'm going to look like a crazy person. It is a beautiful color, right? I like it. I love deep colors, but for special times. You know, I don't want to wear a deep color every day. I just I just don't want to. And that's it. I don't want to. All right. So how much does this guy, this guy cost? He costs 20 bucks. So I think I remember him costing like 22. Am I wrong? Probably. But it's 20 now. And that one says uh, lipstick is a full pigment liquid formula. Dries down to a weightless matte finish for smudge proof wearability and long lasting color. That's what I said earlier. Remember? Wrong product. Uh, comfortable formula delivers full coverage wear that creates the appearance of fuller look, full, fuller looking lips that last all day. So now they're saying that it creates like fuller, fuller looking lips. 
I don't remember that being, you know, a thing before. Uh, I, maybe I'm wrong. There's a bunch of liquid lips that I buy, so I could be wrong. But uh, anyway, that's her thing now. Should I put it on, you guys? I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'll look nuts. Worse than I already do. I better not. Okay, next product. You guys, you want me to do it, right? I'm not going to do it. Peer pressure. Doesn't work. I'm too old for that. All right, this is going to be the last small product till we get to the big guy, okay? This is a brow definer. And we know how I feel about brows. I don't really care about the brows. I mean, look at them. I don't really care about them. Sometimes I give them some attention. Sometimes. It's very rare. Very rare. But we're going to open it up. Okay. So this is how it looks right here. Lots of people swear by this. Hold it right. Hold it right, cat. Get it together. There we go. So um, a lot, like I said, a lot of people swear by this. They do love her brow products. Supposedly, Anastasia like owns like the title in bra products who knew i don't know do y'all know but yeah everybody loves it everybody and their mama so i do like that it has a spoolie so i'm gonna go ahead and comb these wolf guys up a little bit you know because i got a lot going on up here comb them up give them a little bit of love comb this side too Mhm. Mm yeah so i can use that for sure so it does a good job combing it's like a brush it is not plain there's a lot of bristles on there it's not plain just so you know. And this side, we're going to get to the good side. Hold on. If I could open it. Embarrassing. Okay, we're getting there. This side is that triangle side. But it's really, it's got a nice, thin, thin look to it. So you see that? Oh my goodness, look at that go up. Look at it go up. How high can we go? Let's just try it. Let's just live on the edge. This is what happens when you live on the edge. Should I do it? Yeah, let's just do it. Just see how much is in there. Hopefully it goes back down. It reminds me of a razor. We're going to go back down with it, okay? But that's a lot of product right there, you guys. So just to show you, there it is like a triangle. You see that? So you can use the nice corner part. Jocelyn, you've never done your brows. Yeah, man, brows. I know. I really don't care too much about my brows because they're, they're pretty full, you know? I mean, I, don't, I just don't have the need to worry about them. But what I'm going to do just for you guys is I'm going to pull it up a little bit and use my 60 pound weight over here, my mirror, but I can't lift it, because I can't. I don't have four hands, okay? I only have one right now, can't even use two. But I'm gonna just try to do a little flex in here and see if it does something. Yeah, see, I colored in real quick. We'll do this side. Yeah, just gave a little color, that's all I want. Just a little sum sum. So you can use like you can use it flat if you want and you can kind of quicker you know easier you can just like fill it in like that but i kind of like to draw the little hair like stroke sometimes not bad looks pretty good let's see if i can do a swatch on the arm for you there you go you see that's kind of the color right there which is a good shade for me so at least i got a good shade um you do have to Press a little bit, you know, it's not like one of those really creamy emollient ones that just kind of glide on right away, but it does, it did, you saw, you saw it with your own, you all, all saw it, what happened, it went on pretty good, but it's not like super duper creamy. Some brow products are really creamy, like to the point where it's kind of uncomfortable creamy. You can have an uncomfortable creamy, just telling you. Uh, let's see how much it costs, okay, all right. This guy costs, uh, brow definer is $23, okay, $23. Do I want to spend $23? Probably not, because I don't really care about the brows. And it's a, <clears throat> it is an all-in-one triangular-tipped retractable pencil to define detail and fill in brows. Um, featuring three different sized edges, of course, because it's a triangle, right, okay. Um, this pencil delivers ultimate application versatility with ease, while the custom spoolie uh, and blends for a natural looking finish. I do like the spoolie end because it really, it really does. It really does kind of give a nice little fluff, fluff to your, to your stuff. Okay. That's it. Moving on. And here's the last product in here. I'm going to try to just throw a shade on just for you guys. Okay. Like really quick. Cause I've been talking for 29 minutes. I do. I do talk a lot and I don't know what happens. I don't know. Stop yelling at me. I can't take yelling. Don't yell at me. But we're going to try to pull this guy out of here. And this is going to be, it's, there's confetti in here, just so you know. They were really happy about Anastasia this month. So they gave her confetti and everything. But we're going to pull out this 
eyeshadow palette. So I have the purple one. Ha ha. Yes, I don't have any eyeshadow palettes by Miss uh, Norvina. I know I said that already. I'm saying it again. Because every time an eyeshadow palette was released, I wanted a different one. I wanted something else. Like I got Pat McGrath instead of Norvina. And then I think um, for another another time that I was able to, you know, pick an expensive, you know, eyeshadow, I got um, something else. But I didn't get her. But I got her now. So here we go. This is her right here. They had the purple or the orange. Let me know which one you guys got. If you have BoxyCharm. I'm always curious. No one ever says anything. You guys are very silly. You guys don't tell me anything ever. I'd like to know. It's not fair. You're watching me talk about it. What did you get? So I'm trying to open it. I'm trying to distract you while I open it. And hopefully these are, from what I understand, these are very well pigmented. From what I understand. Let me know if you have heard difference. Because I want, I want the low down. The down low. Did I say it right? Low down, down low? Which one is it? Who knows? Here we go. Fine. It's like package and package and package. Chihuahua. More and more. And then it's papers. Everything. Everything I don't need right now. This is heavy, you guys. This is a heavy guy. So here we go. It's really nice. It's a really nice heavy duty beat someone up kind of package, you know? Like you can just crack them in the face with it. Why am I always referring to beating people up with products? I don't know. Maybe somebody wronged me. Who knows? Remember those high school years? All right, you guys. I'm trying to open it without dropping it on myself. This looks really pretty. Really, really pretty. It's got a nice big mirror. But look at this. Look at these nice colors. Let's just drop this out of the way. Get out of the way. There we go. Those are the kind of colors that I can work with, okay? Here's a nice little pop of orange right here. But all of this, this is my vibe. The pinks, the purples. The pinks and purples, I mean, we even got a little bit of gold in there. So I, I like this. This looks pretty good. It looks very promising. Let's just kind of throw something really fast, like just like one shade. We'll pick a purple shade. Why not, right? I'm not going to bother um, priming my eyes because there's no time for that. It's like 32 minutes and counting, okay? So we're just going to grab a dirty brush because why would it be clean? Don't start with me. I'm just going to tap out. All I had on my eyes was a little bit of bronzer. I am a bronzed fool right now, I'll tell you that. Just gonna tap out whatever little bronzer was on there because you don't want creases. We don't want creases. We wanna give her a shot, make sure she looks good. So let me show you what color I'm gonna go into. I'm gonna go into, <laughs> hold on. Let's use the shoulder. I mean, just with the creativity right now, trying to hold this. We're gonna go into this guy right here, that guy, right there, him. Not him, but him. There he is, okay. You saw him? All right, that's all I can do. Don't realize you need your thumbs, you guys. You need thumbs. Thumbs and four fingers are very important. So treat them nice. All right, I'm gonna dab in there. And there's a little bit of kickback. Just a little bit, doesn't seem that bad. So that means they're softly pressed. I'm gonna use this huge mirror, you know, that's in here. We're gonna use this guy. I'm just gonna kind of start tapping it from the back right here. And we're going to just work it on forward. And you can see that pigment immediately. So that's always good. I'm happy about that. I'm going to go ahead and tap again and just try to make it even real fast. Just real quick. Doing a quickie for you guys. Nothing precise, just real fast. I do like how pigmented it is and how it just kind of really fast gets on the lid. It's, it's not really dragging. That's always great. When it drags and it skips, no likey. Not my latte. But this actually looks pretty good. So people always say that um, Norvina's shadows <clears throat> always work really well. I wouldn't know until right now, but I actually have no... Why am I using the phone? I have a freaking mirror the size of Texas right here. Right here. This, look at this guy. It's huge. Why do I want to use it? Who knows? But as I was saying, this pigment isn't to play. Yep, she's here and she's showing up. So I just wanted to kind of put that on the outer corner. Now I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get a fluffier brush. Okay, this guy right here, he's actually clean. It's a miracle. And I'm going to go into 
I know I said one shade, just hold on. I'm gonna go into, which one do I wanna go into? I guess I'm gonna go into this one right here. And can you see it? Can you see it? I'm gonna go into this one right here and just tap just a little bit, just a little bit, little baby amount. And tap it off and just kind of use that to slightly go over what we just did over here. And even that pink has a lot of pigment too. Gonna bring it up into the brow just a little bit because it's my thing, that's my jam right now. I like to bring it up into the brow. Don't ask me why, there's no reason, there's none. Just wanna do it and I'm gonna do it and that's all. Then we're gonna go to the other side real fast. Always tapping the brush off. Super duper hard you guys to be trying to hold this it's like a balancing act. It's like I'm a magician right now. I'm balancing it on my hand. My kitty's over here, back here. I'm listening to her. Trying to talk to you guys. Trying to blend this out all at the same time. Magic. Magic's taking place right now. So I just wanted to show you guys how much pigment this has got. It's got a lot. Yeah, it's got a lot. So now I'm gonna just kind of tilt the brush this way, pointing down, and just try to give a nice little blend right there. Little tricks for you guys, when you don't wanna add more pigment, just kind of like blend it, you can always just tilt your brush downwards, yeah. Just use the side of it, and just blend, blend, blend. I could be doing this for days, I really could. We don't have days, Kat. I know, I know, just saying. Let's just kind of like blew it out a little bit, you know, just blow it out, okay? We do that here, blow it out. I'm gonna get a little bit more of that purple just to even it up right here. I actually like this palette. I wasn't too sure. I mean, I didn't have doubts, but I had some doubts. You just never know. People will always say like, oh, something's awesome, amazing, until you actually go and buy it and use it. And you're like, it wasn't that amazing. I could have got a carton of milk, you know? Just that's how I feel sometimes. Now the last but least, I'm going to go into one of these shimmers. I guess I'll stick with the, uh, I guess I'll stick with the pink kind of, yeah, kind of this one, maybe a little bit of this one. Maybe go a little bit mm, back and forth because I can't, I can't decide, I just can't. Go figure. And I'm just gonna throw that on there. Oh yeah, that packs a punch too. Look at that, you guys, really nice. So I am not disappointed with this palette. I may not have cared too much about the brow products. Looks very nice, looks like it works. It, it does work good. It works good, you don't have to fuss with it really. And you didn't have to like, do too much effort and kind of just it put itself on there I didn't even do anything I, I did nothing I just sit here and talk that's all I do look at that pretty shimmer that's really nice you guys it's really nice so too bad I don't have a I don't have a black liner right here in front of me because why would I why would I have anything I need to actually use I don't know how to do that so I don't wanna waste any more of you guys' time. I'm gonna go ahead and I was gonna do the underneath, but don't bother. I'm not gonna bother. It's gonna take me forever and ever. But I'll tell you one thing about this palette. It has a magnet. You see that? That is pretty neat. So it closes magnetically. So I like that. That's, that's kinda of cool. Norvina, what did you do? You know, like, hey, she came to play. She really did. All right, so let me go ahead and try the mascara out. This guy right here and see how that looks. I wanted to throw like a black liner would just, mm, just pull this whole thing together. It just would, you guys, but we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. I'll get over it. And I'll kick myself later when I watch this video back and be like, why didn't you do it, Kat? I don't know. So let's go ahead and just pop this in here. This is a brow brag. And you know what? I don't know, but it's doing a really good job. 
I didn't think it would, honestly, I didn't. But it kind of is, it's kind of doing a really good job. So I don't want to mess up my lids. Oh wait, this phone, this phone's trying to kill me today. Ruining my life. So that's not bad, look at that. That's a pretty good, pretty good lash if I do say so myself. I was not expecting that because I don't like these kind of bristles. I just, I just, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't. But it does not look bad at all. Kind of happy with it, it looks pretty good throw some on the other side and then hurry up and finish this video because we're about to do the rundown you know how that goes you know how that goes so if you haven't been on my channel before then you don't know how it goes and you're gonna find out but let's just throw this in here on this side I love to like twist I love to twist to make sure I'm getting a good amount of mascara in there not bad. I will say I'm a little surprised by that. Would I go buy 20, would I spend $25 on this? Maybe, maybe now that I've tried it. I mean, it's not bad. I should have curled my lashes ahead of time. Maybe that would have helped. It could have, you never know, but it's okay. We're just going to do what, what we got and what we got isn't bad. Let's throw a little bit down here. Cause we've got, we're naked down there. We've got nothing. I did nothing down there. I don't sound right, but I did nothing down there. So let's at least throw some mascara, give a little life. We're all right. I'm gonna say that it's like a eight out of 10. I can't give it a nine because it's a little clumpy, you know, especially for my little bottom lashes. I have to be really careful. As you can see how careful I'm being. I don't want to smudge it everywhere. And it kind of got on my waterline right there. But it's not bad. We can make it work. Kind of like you. We can be friends. Now, let's go ahead and do the rundown and grab my paper that I threw. Of course I threw it. No, I didn't throw it. It's right here. And read it out to you. All right, you ready, you guys? Uh, Nelly, are you ready? Do you have your calculator? You're my girl. Get ready. So first of all, in this um, wonderful box here, we have the Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1. Did I even read it? Did I even read it, you guys? I didn't. Let me read it. Uh, it's carefully curated by Norvina herself. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1 is a professional grade artistry palette featuring 25 deluxe size, high performance shades with maximum payoff. And they do. They, they got pretty good payoff. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, anyway, expand your Norvina collection with this limited edition pro palette and create your most artistic makeup looks yet. Uh, A2, 3, 5, B1, 3, 4, 5, C4, 5, D, 3, 2, 4, 5, E. Why? Why are we listing all these? Oh, they are not intended for use around the immediate eye area. So here's just one funny little thing. Are you ready? I'm almost done. Pro pigments, you know, like um, really intense pigment, pigment, right? Your, your colors, your shades are not really intended for the eye area. So it makes you wonder why are they in eyeshadow? Because if the eyeshadow is an eye shadow, you're gonna put it on your eyes, right? Obviously, obviously you're gonna do that. Um, so why would they make it if you're not supposed to actually put it there? Well, they're just kind of letting you know you can use it, but it's not intended for that area. So some people might be more, um, stop looking at my hand, might be more, susceptible to uh, maybe like a, some form of maybe rash from it or it might irritate them more or just something because it's not an actual curated shadow for just being a shadow. You know what I'm saying? Like safe for the eye area. So I kind of just use pigment no matter what and like 90% of people do it anyway. It doesn't mean that it's good to do that, but it's just, you do, you know, hi, Melly, how are you? Long time no see, girly. Um, but it's just warning you, use at your own discretion, okay? And then also those kind of pigments kind of stain your eyes, just so you know. So when I go to take this off, I might be pink for two days. It happens, it's, it is what it is. I'm okay with it, I'm over it. Um, 
It's good to, good to see you, Melly. So anyway, this is 60 bucks. That's probably why I hadn't bought it before because I wasn't really like, you know, on the Anastasia train. You know, like there's a lot of trains that I don't jump on. I don't know why. I take like a bus instead. So go figure. But anyway, a $60. Would I go and buy it myself right now? I'm doing the rundown now. Okay, ready? Um, I'm not too sure if I would or not. But I do like how it came out. I mean, I didn't have to fight with it. You know, no fuss, no mess. It's all right. So I'm okay with it. But I don't think I'd go buy it right now. But anyway, I like it. Uh, next one is going to be the powder bronzer. It did come out really nice. I got a pretty good, pretty good intense, you know, payoff from it. So would I go spend $28 on it? I have no idea. But I'll let you know after I don't have anything on. Got to do it when I don't have anything on. Then try it again. But 28 bucks. that's how much that powder bronzer was. The next one is the Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara for $25. Oh my God, thank you, Melly. You just totally hit me out of nowhere. Thank you. That is so sweet of you. I appreciate that. What a sweetheart. Um, the uh, Volumizing Mascara is $25. I do like it. It looks pretty good. I think I would pay $25 for it if I ran out of it. I don't know. I'll let you know later. Uh, then I also have the Brow Definer. We know I don't really care about brows. But it's $23. Would I go spend $23? No, I wouldn't because I don't care about the brows. But you might. You might like it. And it did work. It went on. So it's all right. Uh, then we have the Liquid Lipstick. That's this color right here. It's a beautiful color. So I am happy about the color. Um, it's 20 bucks. Would I spend 20 bucks? I have. I have spent 20 bucks on her lips. Um, again, thank you, Melly. Uh, she gave me $4.99, so I appreciate that. You guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Um, but again, so the liquid lipstick, I have bought it before. I would like it, and maybe I'd buy another one. Maybe. I'll try this one on, let you know Let you know how, uh, how it comes out. I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul later, probably next month, and maybe I'll try it on then. Uh, and then the last but not least, this one for $38 is going to be this body shimmer right here. This body shimmer, the glow, it actually looks really pretty. It smells really nice. You kind of can't see it now. It kind of like wore down a little bit. I mean, it was kind of sparkling a minute ago. But would I spend $38 for this? No, I wouldn't. I'm not going to lie. But it does smell good. I do like it. I'm happy I have it. I'm going to use it up. No shame in my game. All right, you guys. So once again, that was 60, 28, 25, 23, 20, and 38. I don't know what the total is. I'm sorry. I can't do that shit in my head. I, I really can't. And I'm sorry. I was not good at math. But do I think this box is worth it? Yes. I definitely think that everything that I just got in this box for $35 was worth that. Because you know that's like 200 bucks right there. It's got to be more than 200 I'm not sure. But whoever, if you want to do the math, put it up here. Let me know. I'll tell everybody else. We will share the number with everybody. But if I can't get someone to give me the number, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nothing I can say about it. But it's a good box, so I appreciate it. I hope you guys like your box. Did y'all get anything like I got? Do you even get BoxyCharm? Fill me in. Don't look at my hand. Just ignore it. But let me know. Okay, you guys? I do like the way everything came out, so I'm pretty happy with it. I will let you guys go. It's late. I've been talking for 47 minutes. It's a long damn time. I talk a lot. I'm sorry. But have you subscribed? Because you really should. Because I talk a lot. So if you're ever bored, just throw me on and just like clean or something and just listen to me while you're cleaning. Maybe it'll make cleaning fun. You never know. And like I always say, you guys, um, go out and be kind. Be nice. Be kind. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And I'm going to give you one piece of advice. If you want to work at a hospital, and that's your, your, your profession that you choose to do, please be nice to the patients. Just be nice to them. Remember that they're there because they're sick, not because they want to be there. I'll tell you that right now. I didn't want to be there. Four hours? No. But my nurses were really nice. But I saw some, some, you know, down the hallway, just like, oh my goodness, like, are you sure you, this was the profession that you wanted? Are you sure? So just remember to be nice, because you don't know if people are having a bad day. Obviously, they are if they're in the damn hospital. Just saying. Just saying. All right. Love you guys. Have a great one. I'll see you guys uh, in a few days, and I have another video coming out pretty soon. All right. Oh, it's $186, uh, Nelly. So Nelly says that the box came out to $186. I don't know. I'm trusting her. That's what she said. We're going to take her word for it until I find out she's wrong. Okay. Love you guys. See y'all later. Bye.